Of all the lessons that I've learned on my rugby league career, I think the Challenge Cup has been the competition that's taught me the most. Uh, quite often in mad adversity, a lot of pain, a lot of setbacks, uh, a lot of punishment and even in injury in the, in the Challenge Cup. But for me, I wouldn't take a, a single minute away from it because it moulded me and shaped me into the, the rugby player that I am today. To play in the Challenge Cup final, and this was my first experience. We were the favourites. I think we'd won the grand final in 2004 and uh, in 2005 we were on fire. And I remember at the end of the season when we finished second in everything, second in the league, runners up in the Challenge Cup and runners up in the grand final. But uh, I remember two real things about that. One of them was Keith Senior had sustained a real bad ankle injury. I think Joe Vergana had squashed him a few matches prior uh, playing against the big Bradford Bull side. And uh, there was one particular pass, I think everybody remembers, Marcus By threw a, a ball. Marcus By was a great player, fantastic lad. No judgment whatsoever. And I think he threw a ball and it ended up down up floor on in goal. All scored a, a try. I think it was probably the better side. I remember my first involvement was coming off the bench and uh, knocking it on cold, just dropping it up floor in front of 80,000 people all going, oh, who's this kid? This isn't the shirt that actually won the final. This is the kit we had that year. Uh, I give the shirt that I played in away actually, I give it to a, a guy, I give a lot of shirts away to charity, particularly the ones that I've lost in. And I remember just thinking it was a cold, and it was horrible, it was red hot. And all you could hear were Richard Mavers at the back going, take us all forward, get us forward, Jones. I'm thinking, mate, if you've got any breath, why don't you take us forward? And it was a tough, uh, tough game. Paul Cup come up with the winning try for Hull and uh, devastated my first Challenge Cup final. And then in 2010, we made the Challenge Cup final against a very good very good Warrington team who I think had already won it the year before in 2009 and it was the emergence of Tony Smith's Warrington team who, who were phenomenal you know towards that period coming into that period and uh, this is the shirt that I wore and uh, I didn't last that long actually a uh, bit of friendly fire happens in rugby league I remember from this game and you don't remember much from being lost from a loss and you don't remember much from losing but I do remember from this game uh, Ian Kirk coming into a tackle and absolutely wiping me out. And he stood on my foot, he broke a bone in my foot and I got carried off the pitch basically. And uh, Warrington were out and out winners that day. They were fantastic. Another Challenge Cup loss. And unfortunately, whilst it wasn't the first Challenge Cup final, that was my first experience at Wembley. So it wasn't the best. You have to go back up the M1, having sold a load of tickets to your mates, half of which haven't been paid for, uh, out of pocket, out of your mind, uh, but unfortunately, as I learnt from the great Winston Churchill whilst I was down there, success is never final, defeat is never fatal, it's having the courage to continue that counts. So I thought, let's have the courage to continue. Yeah. 2011 uh, was a great year for me, it's one that I really remembered. I, uh, I'd shaved my beard off periodically, I'd lost a little bit of weight and I remember getting player at year for Leeds, so it was uh, a special year for me. Uh, we did win the grand final as well. In, uh, in 2011, so that really ticked it off and I managed to get myself back in uh, the England team, which was unbelievable. I think uh, 2011 was the most memorable year uh, in my career because it, it was a time when I played the Aussies. So in terms of uh, performance, Zenith, that was, uh, that was the year for me. But what stood out to me in that game was right near the death, about five or six minutes to go, we were still in there, I think it was about 22-18, and uh, Wigan come up with a, an error, they kicked it into touch, I think Lulawai had dropped it into touch or nudged it, and Wigan got head and feed, and subsequently scored in the last sets, which put the game to bed, um, which is what it is, that's life sometimes. Now, 2012, we got there again against a good Warrington side, and I remember flying down the track off the kickoff. It was a massive shot, first contact, ball popped out and I thought we're on here today. And uh, my knee popped out about 20 minutes in, managed to unlock it. I had a really dodgy cartilage which I've had since removed and cleared up. And uh, I missed probably half of that game, come out for the back end. And I just remember the rain pouring and uh, a really, really good warrant inside. One much better than what we were in 2012. And it's really interesting because uh, I'd started accumulating many of these loses medals and this was going to be the third in a row. I think we became, Leeds Rhinos become the first team ever to lose three finals, Challenge Cup finals in a row. But one way I tried to manifest that into reality, thinking that I could hide away from it somehow, is I'd wrap my losers medals in electric tape and you can probably just see how for maybe 
10, 11 years, this was wrapped up in electrical tape and I'd never, ever opened it. I never opened it from getting it in 2005, having lost. I kept it wrapped up until 2014, a long time, as did the rest of them. Just got locked up, left on the trophy cabinet on the outside, didn't deserve to go in as reminders of how much it hurt and to always persevere to keep going. Now, 2014 came around. It was the bookend of the golden decade with the golden generation, as I described it at Leeds. It was almost a dream final, really, a local derby. And uh, everybody knows how much Cass liked to play at Leeds. And right here, this is when uh, I won my first Challenge Cup final. And I made a point of never, ever touching the Challenge Cup until I won it. For all, all the years, I would not touch the Challenge Cup until I won it. But interestingly enough, a few weeks before we played in the final, I decided to take all the electricity tape off these and open them up and accept what defeat means. And uh, at last, I'd open them up and accept them. Now, this is the shirt that I played in. It was my 317th game for Leeds. And uh, I love to tell a story about this. And it's not actually because we won. It's because after we won the Challenge Cup in August, you've got about two months left at season play, to play, about, a bit less, and uh, having won this after so many years, we didn't win a single game after that. And our live became the first half of that Winston Churchill quote, success is never final either. The final one was 2015. I'd been through all the defeats, got my first... Challenge Cup winner's medal in 2014 against Cass. If you look at this, it's almost the most worn out as well. I've lost this about three times, believe it or not. If you know me personally, you'll know I lose things quite often. And uh, it's scraggy because it's the one that I take around the most schools, churches, community clubs, tell the story and go, yes, that's what it was like to win it. But success is never final. You've got to carry on, you've got to persevere. Now, having played in all 18 finals from 2004 to 2014, I uh, entered into what we know now as the most successful year in the club's 120-year history in 2015, when we went on to do the treble and win all three trophies. And uh, having played in all 18 finals, this was the first time I'd missed a final for Leeds and uh, the first Challenge Cup final opportunity that I'd missed through injury, having torn my quad off my knee against St. Helens at Warrington, getting stretched off with uh, my nana running on the pitch to escort the stretcher off, which as well which was quite embarrassing with uh, the gas and air on. But I love my nana a bit. She's been there from being about 89 year old to come at rugby, so bless her, she deserves to come on and escort me off if she wants. But uh, this final is probably the most important one of all of them. I wasn't on the pitch, I didn't even play. Kevin Simfield took me up uh, to lift the trophy with my suit on and there's so much went on in and amongst that year that it's a story that I want to save for another time. And uh, 2015 was possibly one of the best secular life lessons of my career. So there it is, it's my Challenge Cup journey.